Yeah. So I beat the fuck. Um, my mother called. So yeah, I had to do uh, another take. Well, not another take, but a second take. Uh, I'm continuing. I'm gonna make some coffee. Oh, uh -huh. only three, four capsules left. But that's that's okay. You shoot and the boop de boop and the loop. Coffee left, uh, some foam. But yeah, uh, I was talking about stuff before. Um, yay! Pretty warm weather today, but not. A clear sky, but but that is fine. Uh, yeah. MS. I think I was talking about MS. Yeah. Um, a thing that is much better. Uh, yeah, I was talking about medication, I think. But but yeah, a thing that's much better is um, um, that uh, I got uh, uh, a medication. Uh, I don't know if it's medication, but um, in a hospital, I get it when I'm at a hospital, so it's not a prescription. Um, like uh, the medication that um, is against fatigue that that is a prescription but yeah the, the medication that I get at uh, hospital is it's called uh, rituximab 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 I don't know I don't know but uh, uh, can I, yeah, try to switch. Ugh. Ugh. I have a cell phone mount on my chest right now. Uh, hard to change <laughs> the chest mount without arms, but, but yeah, let's just ignore that. <laughs> it's itchy on my back. Itchy, itchy. But but yeah, rituximab. That is a. Uh, uh, what is the word? Um, it's not to cure anything. Uh, yeah, I, I think I need to shake this again. Um, let's see what the word is. Yeah, this is gonna be a uh, really bad. On it, well, I don't know if it's bad, but it's uh, all over the place. Place break medicine is that really a word? Break medicine? No. Break medicine. What is it? I hate Opera browser. Sometimes it's just ungodly slow. Bracke. Bracke tablet. No, I don't think this is the right word. Broms medicine. Uh, well, it it halts. It halts the sickness or whatever. It might, uh, it might be, and uh, yeah, it's supposed to halt my MS, 
and but in my in my case it um it actually stopped my uh, nerve damage symptoms and uh that is really cool um i wasn't expecting that um so so yeah thankfully yeah i'm 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 not in um, in that pain uh, center in that pain zone uh anymore like like i said earlier um i still have pain but it's uh, not even close to as as awful as it was to have nerve damage now it's just your garden variety pain pain <laughs> eh, no this isn't what i'm looking for is that what i'm looking for oh my god yeah that is what i'm looking for that cable over there so yeah i, I just have um, typical back pain sensation from having scoliosis but whoops but it feels uh, kind of okay because i've had um this amount of pain for over half my life so yeah um since is this the wrong cable as well yes it is what the fuck okay get the fuck out of here and this is the wrong cable yeah but where is the cable I'm looking for? Mm. I have 40% battery. And uh, I don't know how much it will drain in the background. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Do I see any cables on the ground Mhm. Mm Nej. Ja men det skiter vi det skiter vi väl i det. Um Yeah, I will just have to manage I think. Okay. But, 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 yeah, that is good news. N no more um, nerve pain. Um, well, um, it's something called skov in Swedish. That means more or less just periods of pain. Um, that is common. Um, with MS is that you have like pain periods P painids P yeah and uh, they come and go and typically stay like what what did they say um, one day up to uh, couple of weeks well they said one or two weeks but I call it bullshit I've had nerve pain for longer than that I was even put in hospital because I had pain for such a long time and uh, yeah yeah that was before I knew I had MS uh, that was fucking scary. Felt like I was going insane. Yeah, I... Ugh. Yeah, that, that is like... The worst. And really gives you some helpful life knowledge. From just... Really... Grasping... How good it feels... 
to at least know your enemy and how maddening it can be to have I'm gonna call it an enemy but not know if you have an enemy or you just are, are really unlucky and everything goes against you at all time uh, um, uh, uh, yeah yeah I'm gonna see if I can do a maneuver where I take my coffee cup with my teeth and place it on my mug holder on the side uh, you have to you have to like this video if I can pull this off my god I did it I did it coffee can I film it yeah kind of yeah good nice okay I think five people are gonna watch this this long into this boring ass clip but okay back to the guitar maintenance I'm gonna, I'm gonna elevate my wheelchair whoops elevate my wheelchair yeah um i am a proud amateur <laughs> i'm i'm making making no no uh, um poor stone then um, i don't exclaim myself as a professional is what i'm trying to say okay i refuse to edit this video my computer is ooh, really janky compared to what is needed so i'm just gonna clip this on my um clip this i'm just gonna push these two videos the one i recorded earlier with this second one together and then um, <laughs> call it a day but yeah okay so i'm an amateur um, or a hobbyist or something uh, yeah it's a yeah hobbyist I guess clean and prep yeah. shake well apply to the fingerboard using a clean cloth okay so I'll, I will not apply to the fingerboard that is the start of the sentence using a clean cloth okay so I will apply it to the cloth and then to the fingerboard i guess that's what they mean ah it felt more fluid be fluid e fluidy no that's not a word but it felt more liquid like before so now it feels like it's i don't know more foamy or something but yeah this is the slowest maintenance ever i i should have just started the video here <laughs> but yeah you can go fuck yourself i don't know how much i guess that depends on how large of a cloth you are using but okay can i put it there yeah i guess I got some on my pinky. Okay. Mm hmm.
Nice. I love this guitar. Uh, the story of this guitar is actually like also a part of that breakup thing. This guitar was bought. Let's see here. Yeah, this guitar was bought around, I think, two, 2009 for a 10 year old. Well, 2010, maybe 2010 for a 10, 11 year old Hungarian girl. <laughs> her rich father thought her child <laughs> needed a highway one Fender Stratocaster that would cost like 1,400 euro. Well, no, it's a case. I don't think you can see it. No, you, you can definitely not see it, but I'm gonna see. Can I can I angle this thing a bit? Uh, can I angle? Yeah, maybe. Ah, fit loader. Okay, yeah, under my bed. You see that black stuff under my bed? That's, uh, I think it's called Super Deluxe Guitar Case. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's a really, really good travel case. And uh, yeah, this Hungarian father thought her, his, this Hungarian father thought that his 11 year old child needed uh, 1,500 euro guitar and super deluxe case. But this girl didn't really like playing guitar all that much. It was for music class. They're doing construction work outside. I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah. Um, uh, yeah. That girl I'm talking about is my... my the, um, yeah, that girl that I had a relationship with. And uh, she asked if I wanted to buy that from her. And I did, but I wanted to make it my own. So I cut, cut it, cut it here. Because on the normal um, Stratocasters, there's, um, it's called a horn. So it's a horn that goes swoop, like sticks out like up until here or something so yeah I cut it off and I did a little you, you definitely cannot see it but I did like a shape that was slightly in the shape of a shoulder with like a, I don't know if this is visible at, at all um, but yeah, there's like a collarbone thing here. Uh, so it's like a little spot, like I can fit my toe, like a bit inside. Here's like a collarbone thing and a shoulder bump. But, but yeah, never mind. Um, um, I had to cut off the, um, take off that uh, horn part so that I wouldn't hit my foot on it. Um, and I just immediately felt like, uh, yeah, I'm going to make this 
my own guitar. Um, this is obviously my own design and my own, well, it's not a design, it's just, it's my own like coloring and uh, finish job. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I, I, I think it, it looks just sick. And with this, uh, it's called a string guard. And uh, it's something you have on bass guitars. I don't know it's for the pickups or for your hands to kind of like hold and then doop 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 or something. But it is perfect, just perfect for me because I can put my foot here and I don't have to worry about my little little toes pinky toes hitting the guitar string so i can just doop -doop -doop, and uh, yeah this my my uh, my guitar pick hanging over here yeah i thought uh, yeah i'm having like a feeling that i should do this uh, 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 with another session of um, solution. Yeah, here's a good spot. Yeah, I can spray here as well. It's a good thing I have so many um, microfiber. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is microfiber, but it's like guitar cloth. Clothes? Cloths? Yeah, English is hard sometimes, um, but, whoops, I got some on the guitar, but I don't think that's too much of a problem, but, <sighs> so yeah, I've been going through a lot of stuff, questioning a lot of life things and understanding a lot of new things about myself that I didn't know. Oh, fitta. Yeah, okay, I lost one of the straps. It's like a four piece strap thing and one of them broke off that goes over my left shoulder but uh, <laughs> it will just have to stay on by just four yeah, pure force just stay on by willpower anyway um, life is mm, hard, I think, for everyone. And a thing for... Now I noticed I have some markings here. Some scuff marks. I, I think I've... I don't know if you can see the marks now. It's just shining. But here is or some small dings or something. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get another cloth. Uh, a thing that is interesting with being disabled is that, well, at least for me, so I, I guess I'm blessed in uh, in that sense um is i i can really um take account of like differences and um, in um, ah living situations and uh, and just um kind of enjoy the difference and 
I know it's so rare to be born like this. So um, I get to view life and people in like a really special way. Like, uh, for example, every person I meet, I am, <laughs> I, I know what they are, are thinking of, like in the beginning, like I can, like, uh, be sure of that and uh, don't have to worry too much about like, first impressions and I can be kind of comfortable in in that and, uh, and use that to my advantage and uh, yeah I think that's a interesting way um, to look at it um, and to live I guess uh, is this ready for yeah, ooh, feels really good and slippery. Nice, clean. Now this conditioner, I'm just assuming that you need to shake it as well. But uh, I was gonna say something. But yeah, okay, use only on unfinished fretboards, fingerboards. Remove string, shake bottle well, dab -o -matic applicator against the fretboard, dabbing it to start the flow. Do not sneeze the bottle. I'm joking, it says squeeze. Once conditioner, continue applying oil by dabbing applicator onto the entire fretboard. Use a clean cloth to work the oil into the wood. I think it's a bad idea to use this because I think this is more for like making guitars but I've n I've never claimed to be a uh, claimed to be a good guitar maker or luthier uh, this is really stuck in there come on motherfucker i don't want to use my teeth but i guess i will Yeah, yeah, there we go. I think, yeah, yeah. There we went. Um, uh, but, yeah. Life stuff. Oh, now I remember what I was going to say. Like, being disabled um, and being me with my disability uh, <clears throat> I think many people, well, including myself, I would have also thought so. I did also think so, that, like, uh, the biggest obstacle or, like, um, yeah, obstacle or problem or tribulation, um, tribulations, tribulation yeah in my life would be um, that uh, like just being disabled like oh my god i cannot do karate what oh but yeah sometimes sucks that i can't like do mma and stuff yeah 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 i know they're disabled this and that and wheelchair basket and well 
obviously not wheelchair basket, but I know what you were thinking. Like, uh, there are some special Paralympic stuff. Um, but, but yeah, that was never something that I was interested in, even if it's like, I don't know, archery or like gun range stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the biggest problem in my life, like number one, has never been like the physicality of being disabled um, or even the societal. It's, <laughs> it's still just like normal guy stuff. That, that is like the worst thing in my life. Like stuff that applies to like every living being, like not even guy stuff, just human stuff. Like, I'm sad. Are you sad because you're disabled? No, I'm sad. I woke up with my girlfriend. I'm sad. Like it's it's generic and cliche stuff, and uh, I'm 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 happy that it is like that. Uh, well, I'm <laughs> sad that I have those problems, but it's still like a good feeling that it's not like all the obvious stuff. Um, and I think that applies to pretty much every disabled person. I, I think a lot of people would probably say the same thing, that being disabled isn't like inherently annoying. Like, for example, like, um, um, a neighbor, a neighbor child, um, <clears throat> she was maybe like seven or something, and uh, she was like, oh, does that feel weird? Doesn't it feel strange to blah, blah, blah? And uh, I was like, uh, well, how does it feel for you to be born without a tail or wings and she was like no that doesn't feel bad and i'm like yeah that's the same for me it's just that in in your example you live in a world where people are born with wings uh, and a tail so it, it isn't like inherently like bad or horrible or whatever it might be like sure if i was born in the medieval um, era uh, one of the medieval eras then um yeah i might say something else or not who am i to assume who am i kidding i love assuming but um <clears throat> Like maybe I would have been killed or revered, been revered as a oracle or I don't know. Like the the Viking. Um, oh my God! I should know this. Um, yeah, and he was in uh, Vikings as well. Um, um, Leif. Uh, um, Ivar, sorry, sorry, Ivar Benlaus, Ivar Bain, Ivar Bainlausi, I think his original name was. He was um, a disabled Viking. Um, he couldn't use his legs, um, but people don't know exactly what type of 
challenges he had. Um, but but yeah, he died like in England or something um, in his mid twenties or something. And this was like year. Oh my god, what was it like? Ah. Uh, 700, 900 um, AD, of course AD, yeah, there were no Vikings, BC, but, but yeah, I'm rambling, but, but, but that's okay, it's uh, that kind of video, but, but, but yeah, life feels like Life. Life feels like living. Hmm. Yeah, life feels like living. And uh, everything that includes... Um, yeah. <clears throat> this conditioner didn't specify, like how much or how many things and stuff um, yeah caught it caught it caught it yes i'm gonna read the bottle again should i do another round while i'm while i'm already here um Clean cloth to work oil into. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I can do another one. Uh, but yeah, I have some some tough shit in front of me uh, in my life, uh, which is which is okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, but life goes on, life goes on, um, I'm gonna sometime in my future, near, sometime in my near future, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, it's coming, yeah, uh, in my near future, I'm gonna start going back to school and study first get my grades up and then I'm gonna study to become a, I don't know what the word is but like sociologist or something so I can work with people and children because that's what I'm is it coming out it that's what she said um, but yeah, um, I want to work with children and uh, see if I can do something useful there and uh, hopefully um, my body will allow that because it's been hell the last like Ten years almost. Like even when I was playing in Leaving Asgard, um, that was like in the beginning of beginning and middle, I guess, when everything turned to shit. Uh, like, for example, like there was one time when um, my left foot just stopped doing what it was supposed to my my right foot was slightly better i think um but but yeah it was just complete utter bullshit and that was that was scary 
and uh, of course like 2018 uh, I had uh, an uh, um, a seizure epileptic seizure I've n never had a seizure in my life or thankfully since but yeah that was really fucking scary like waking up in an ambulance ambulance and not knowing what the fuck just happened i remember waking up in ambulance and why do i pronounce that so weird it sounds super strange when i hear myself ambulance ambulance Am ambulance ambulance i don't know but i just woke up and i think i said like oh what what's going on they were like adam you have had a seizure we're going to go to the hospital and i remember just saying like oh my yeah okay okay thank you so much you're being very nice to me right now i i'm so sorry i'm so sorry for for putting you through all of this and making you drive me there i'm so sorry thank you you're being so nice and and you are you are very you look very friendly. I don't know your name. I'm sorry, but but you seem very nice. And then I blacked out again, and I woke up in a hospital, like two hours later. Yeah, that was that was scary, really scary. So, yeah, I've had. MS probably like seven years <laughs> longer than I've known well before I mean I think I had my first weird pain attacks around like 2013 or 2012 or something yeah and uh, um, I got the news uh, uh, that I do have MS around 2020. So, yeah, that was some scary time. I had a good decade, but it was still very, very scary. Uh, and, uh, well, it's still scary. It's still scary. Uh, because I don't know how bad it will get. Like, just because I don't have my nerve pain doesn't mean my brain will stop worsening. Like, uh, uh, yeah, um, I took an x-ray like uh beginning of this year like early january and he said like yeah your brain looks like a little bit worse uh, it's good that you don't have had any pain that is fantastic but yeah your brain looks like it has some added well some more a greater amount of like spots on my brain um, and uh, yeah so that <sighs> leaves me wondering like will I get like uh, like something similar to like uh, Alzheimer's, uh, or like dementia symptoms, or how how bad how bad uh, will it will it get before it kind of calms calms down? Yeah, um, I want to work this oil in, so I kind of feel like. Uh, I want to use the cloth, my cloth, this cloth, while it's uh, 
wet uh, while it's still liquid on the fingerboard. Uh, yeah. Um, but 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 yeah, the fingerboard. It's not uh, like it isn't a finish on this fingerboard. I think it is like originally there was some type of <clears throat> wax or something. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I felt that it has changed a bit, like a bit. I mean, like, it, I just feel a difference in the how it feels, like the surface area, and like I have cleaned it before. Um, I have mm. Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. itchy, itchy nose, but yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> So, I, I don't think I'm being too um, stupid in, uh, in doing this, like, like a bit stupid, sure, but not like insane stupid. I think I did the ninth fret before. Uh, I think I did. Yeah, I must have, I must have. <sighs> Should I do it from the lower maybe? And then go up? <clears throat> Um, yeah, yeah, I have slept exactly zero minutes this night, and now it's, what is it, like, uh, around nine, nine or ten a.m., uh, I'm gonna check my watch. Oh my god, it's almost 11 <laughs> and I'm, um, I have a, it's not a date, I don't think you can say that, but, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna get laid later this evening. I'm not really happy about it, but. But yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm still <laughs> thinking about the... Oh my god, yeah, I did already those. Okay, oh, well. Oh well, fuck that. Um, yeah, I'm still um, thinking about that relationship I had, but yeah, it's it's been like yeah a couple of years since it ended, but yeah, it was just like one of those type of relationships. And yeah, it gets easier, but yeah, I don't forget, but yeah, it gets easier. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so how many... <sighs> Why didn't I just count the frets which one i was on okay my pick is there i think i have 
the last three or four frets. Three or four frets. Um, well, I'll do this anyway. Mm, I don't want to drop my pick and I'll put it here. Okay. Oh well. Okay, 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 okay. Doop -a doop -a doo. Yeah, but yeah, I have I have plans. I <laughs> think I know how I will do them, how I will make things happen. It will take time, but most things that are worth something typically take um, um, some time. There is still some liquid over here. Okay. Yeah, now I've done three layers. Um, I apologize to any mm, any professionals out there or anyone in the know. Um, I don't really mean that it was wax. I, I, I think I meant more oil i guess this is also oil but um i'm not sure that this is uh, supposed to be okay to also have on your frets but but I have zero fucks to give right now. I will see if it starts to just spontaneously combust. Then I will just have a do-over. Um, whoops. Oh my fuck. Fitta. Um, I dropped my pick but yeah I'll get it later stop it okay um, yes I'll get that but you will have to remind me so that I don't back my wheelchair and drive over it <clears throat> mm. Okay, I have uh, put I have put some. Um, you cannot see it, but yeah, wooden, like uh, it's for arts and craft stuff, like popsicle-looking things that I've stuck under the bridge so it's this tremolo bar like when you push down the tremolo bar it pushes up the bridge and it loosens all the strings um, I have um, I have um, Yeah, fuck that. I have locking tuners on my... Oh, why did I do that? Why couldn't I at least wait and take out the strings? I'm gonna switch strings in the coming future, so I'm not too careful. 
if something happens to them, but... Uh, oh boy, yeah, well, I have locking tuners, which means just that I have like a shorter string, shorter space to wrap um, around the, um, the machine tuners, tuning machines. I think they're called something like that. Um, this one is there. This one is over here. And the uh, E string. Well, it's C for me, but... Oh, oh, okay, I'm blind. And this one goes over there, and this one is wrapped underneath, and this one is the third. Yeah, there we go with that one, and this one. No, no. I am truly blind. Okay. Over there. Okay, a lot of Swedish cursing today. For those who don't know what I'm saying, um, the uh, I don't want to repeat myself unless I'm cranky or fucking anything up. That is the C word, the, yeah, you know, female anatomy, the, yeah, that is that word. In, in Swedish, that word is, um, it feels very good, not only, well, it feels good, but, <clears throat> yeah. I meant to say it also f it, it 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 feels good in your in in the mouth to say it's very like ah yeah it's very good to say yeah I have only dirty things to think about when I was gonna say yeah it feels very good yeah in your mouth yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, write your own damn joke. I don't even work here. I'm just, just a temp. Um, am I forgetting anything before? Before I'll tune everything and get the strings back in order but like yeah like i said a new pick guard definitely need a new pick guard like do you see this shit yeah this is for a humbucker but i have switched back to the original great ass single coil um, that came with the guitar. They were actually really, really nice. And I had like, oh, I'm just gonna go with um, humbuckers and uh, only metal type pickups. But yeah, no, I missed having single coils. My great, great single coils. Uh, yeah, the only thing is that I was gonna adjust the pole pieces. I think these are just ones that you push on the backside and they will pop up 
or you can squish them down. I think they are kind of straightforward. Um, I'm gonna get um, another uh, mount, uh, kick ass, a kick ass mount to hold my cell phone. Well, yeah, uh, like uh, IRL, I'm, I often say by mistake, like, yeah, put the camera over here. But yeah, it's my cell phone. But it's a really great camera. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's a great camera, especially um, if you think that it's a cell phone. Um, it's a Samsung S23 Ultra. I'm really freaking happy with it. Um, and uh, yeah, all the capabilities. Um, um, did I do anything wrong? No. Oh, I hate having this on my chest. Whoops, change the angle by mistake. Whoop. Uh, yeah, okay. If I... Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, the mount I'm gonna get. Uh, it, it's, um, it's for a motorcycle. It's called Quad Lock, and it's... I have a friend who rides um, an electric uh, bicycle and it's really, really cool. Like um, uh, a fact I didn't know about was that mo motorcycles have, some mo motorcycle models have a they called it tube. It's like a cylindrical tube thing. Um, that, for example, um, can I see myself? No, I can't turn my neck 180 degrees and see what I'm filming. But this motorcycles have a type of cylindrical tube thingy yeah and it fits like what is it like uh 12 millimeters to like 25 millimeters and this is like 17 millimeters so it's like just perfect it's like right in the middle and uh And uh, I will be able to do really great angles. And I want to start doing some rocksmith things again. Some base things, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't really want to play because I feel like I need to wash up before I do that. Yeah. Gong.
weird. Yeah, it's completely wrong. I'm not tuning it for tuning's sake. I'm just... I'm doing it the wrong way. Should have tuned the other string, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to the new mount. And um, I will probably, probably also, I'll probably do some, do some IRL stuff as well. Um, with the mount, like day in the life, day in the life. Just, yeah, stuff in, in life. I can probably do some super slight, tiny off-road stuff. Yeah, when I was a child, I used to love off-road stuff, but I think that was just, not just, but a part of it was being a child and not doing what you're told. Like, oh, be careful, you, you are not allowed to do this and that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think I still think that is fun. Mm. But I don't know which wheelchair um, I want to do that with. The one I'm sitting in, it's a hybrid wheelchair. It's uh, better for uh, like, like downtown, mall, office kind of environment. It has tiny wheels. But, but yeah, I'm not really one to follow guidelines. So, I might uh, just do it with this one anyway. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to um, travel to England in uh, August. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend four days in London. Yes, way to lose. Yeah, 
Is it one octave down from what it's supposed to? Or am I just hearing poorly? I have no idea, this is not uh, tuning, these are not even right frequencies, but the intervals are okay. When I am um, pluck the string a little harder, then you can really hear how janky it sounds. It sounds a bit like a banjo. Sorry to all the banjos, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think we are closing. Um, we we are we are getting to the end of this way too long video. <laughs> um, can you see? Yeah. That's that's my pick. There. Boop 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 boop. Uh, I'm gonna bet ten euro that no one will watch this far into the clip. Nah, never mind. I'm not gonna bet. Come on. Yeah, okay, there. Okay. Can I pick it up without fucking ah oh, big loader? Yeah. Th th that's a double curse word. That's two curses in one. Okay, okay. Uh. <sighs> yeah. Uh. Can I tilt up the camera again? Yeah, I guess I could, by the magic of physics. And thank you so much to Samsung for building a good cell phone with the great battery and that I can record for over an hour. Well, one hour and 15 minutes almost. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is my new setup, uh, by the way, um, I have put my bass guitar under my guitar, as you can see, and all these lovely, lovely pedals and just music tools over here. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's, uh, it looks, yeah, super sleek and just 
lovely. I love it. Love it. But thank you so much for those who have watched. Even if you watched and then stopped at like 10 minutes in. But uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and listening to <laughs> my rambling and uh, yeah this is it for this time and I will be with you soon bye everybody take care much love. Bye.